Racists in Missouri just pissed off every white person in town with six signs they put up overnight. Last week, the city of St. Louis burst into a series of violent protests after 36-year-old former police officer Jason Stockley was acquitted of killing a black drug dealer. These protesters took to the street creating havoc, injuring several police officers, even vandalizing the mayor's house. Instead of the protests dying down and allowing people to get back to their daily lives, these agitators just won't quit with their destructive behavior. And, now they just ticked off every white person in St. Louis with these racist signs they have plastered on business owners' doors. Riots have erupted in St. Louis after a white officer was found innocent in the murder of a black drug dealer. Of course, the race baiters in the country swung into action calling the decision to be unjust and causing riots to take place on the city's streets. These violent racists in the Black Lives Matter group have terrorized their community for days with their destructive antics that has left many officers injured. Then early on Tuesday morning when business owners in St. Louis went to open their doors, they were in for the shock. These hard-working individuals found themselves targeted by the racist group Black Lives Matter and they are not sure why. On many doors throughout the city including minority-based business, a whites-only sign was found and now the FBI is in investigating. The signs were put there by BLM activists choosing to stir the pot even further. These white-only stickers have been discovered on various businesses' doors that has had many scratching their heads. Here is more from KMOV. Kayam Mohammed walked to his restaurant, Samim, Tuesday morning, and found a puzzling sticker placed on his doors. Whites only, the sticker said. Mohammed said his restaurant, which serves Afghan cuisine, employs people from all walks of life. I'm proud to say I employ African American, Caucasian American, Malaysian, Mohammed said. But Samim wasn't the only restaurant hit with this sticker. Several other restaurants in the Grove found the same sticker, as well. Urban Chestnut found the whites only sticker, as did Tahoe Twisted Tiki Bar. In the right corner of each sticker reads hashtag BLM reportedly for Black Lives Matter. Similar signs have been used in the past as a shock tactic to create discussion and dialogue concerning racial inequality. There is concern that, if that is the intent of the stickers and it's not made clear, it could instead lead to the bars being targeted. On their personal Facebook page, Layla's owners wrote they found the sticker heartbreaking. We pride ourselves on being open, accepting and inviting of all types of people the restaurant wrote. On Tuesday, News 4 obtained surveillance video showing someone placing the stickers on restaurant doors. There was no reason for these signs to be put on these business owners' doors, but can you explain that to the left? Nope, not a chance. The left would love for you to believe that the Black Lives Matter group is only concerned with combating racial oppression, but that is not the case at all. In fact, the ordinary individual's definition of Black Lives Matter is much different than what the group actually believes. Many people claim that the group is focused on exposing police brutality and corruption, but that could not be further from the truth. In all actuality, the group has far more sinister goals than most people realize and they are entrenched in Marxist ideology. One of those ideas is the notion that children do not belong to their parents but, in fact, the community. Here is more from Blue Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is made up of political organizations with political goals that most people would disagree with, including disrupting the nuclear family structure, see black villages, taxpayer-funded reparations for black people, see reparations, and the elimination of charter schools, see Invest Divest. If you are unfamiliar with the Movement for Black Lives website we linked to, that's the coalition of over 50 Black Lives Matter organizations which is receiving $100 million in donations to push their political goals. Black Lives Matter groups have been pushing for racial segregation at colleges, at its meetings, and even at the St. Louis protests. They have also advocated for people only banking at black-owned banks and shopping at black-owned businesses. So no, Black Lives Matter does not work against racial segregation, they promote it. For years, civil rights activists have fought to end racial injustices and that battle has been won. 
We have lived in peace where everyone has the chance to make it in this country if they choose to. However, after Barack Obama was elected, that peace ended, and we've witnessed strife ever since. This group was formed not to promote any sort of racial harmony, but to bring about segregation again. This group has nothing to do with combating racial oppression but rather all about creating more division. These signs were placed on these doors to cause more issues with the citizens of St. Louis during an already tense time. They have realized that to push their leftist goals all they need to do is fan the flames of division. And, of course, it works every single time. Share if you think that Black Lives Matter should be labeled a domestic terrorist group. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us, and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook, and liking it, and follow up, and thank you for watching.